Hello everyone, this video is about the topic Visiting Heaven on May 29, 2014. But before we start off, uh, let us pray first. Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your message. Please help all the viewers understand your message and they'll be inspired to seek to be righteous and pleasing to Jesus Christ. And develop an intimate direct relationship with Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ amen okay so it, this video is about a servant of Jesus Christ was taken to heaven in a vision and this is what she saw okay. is she said I went to heaven and accepted Heavenly Father God's invitation for me to become His servant, to be a missionary, and preach His message to all people. A few things I did and saw were the Book of Life, River of Life, and Storehouse of all kinds of body parts. Now she describes the Book of Life. The names of people who are in the large book of life written were first, middle, and last name. Names that are checked means they are already dead and are living in heaven. Some of my relatives, their names were not in the book of life. Jesus Christ explained to me that just because a person's name is not in the book of life, it still has a chance to add names of person still alive for they are given an opportunity to repent. But if one dies and its name is not in the book of life, it means that person chose not to repent of their sins and will result eternity in hell. While those names written in the book of life can also be erased if they ask forgiveness but continue to sin again. Right? So what she meant also was that the names that were written in the book of life, those people were are still alive on earth. Okay. But if they didn't ask forgiveness, um, for their sins, they continue to sin again, they will uh, be erased from the book of life and not enter heaven. Um, so she talks about the river of life. Uh, this is what she said. I was following Jesus Christ towards the river of life. I am still a newly born again believer and knew nothing about it. Jesus Christ went into the river, and I also went in. The water was knee-deep. I asked him, What will we do now? He didn't say anything. He put his right hand gently on my head and plunged me down in the water. I didn't expect it, and I didn't know his reason. I wanted to ask him, but I was underwater. And I realized that Jesus Christ didn't want me to be curious. He just wanted me to obey him. The water became much deeper compared earlier. It seems the water obeyed Jesus Christ's command to be low level in a few seconds, then becomes high level, then back to normal. While underwater, I felt the combination of feeling drowning, but at peace. Drowning because I have no control on what was going on and why this was happening to me. I felt at peace because I knew that Jesus Christ will not do anything to hurt me. After a minute or so underwater, I felt like I left all my fears under the water. Jesus Christ rose me up as I stood up. I looked up at the sky and saw a bright light. Soon, a white dove was heading towards me. 
After a few seconds, the white dove went in me. I am facing a direction left center, a large illuminating golden castle, and to the right center, a large mountain with waterfall where the water of the river of life came from. Then suddenly to my left, I saw a transparent figure and Jesus Christ introduced me to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit asked me if I agreed to serve Heavenly Father God and do His will for the rest of my life. I said, yes. Then I asked, why there is a spotlight shining towards me? Holy Spirit answered that it was Heavenly Father God's blessing me to start His will in my life. I realize that when we speak to God, we use our minds like telepathy, the way of communication in heaven. And lastly, she said about the storehouse of all kinds of body parts. She says, My last visit today, Jesus Christ brought me to the storeroom where I saw many body parts for the sick people on earth. We walked in. I saw layers and layers of shelves, left and right, that were stacked up very high. Every section had a specific body part, and it was very well organized, clean, and very bright. No angels guarding this large warehouse. It caught my attention were a pair of eyeballs floating on shelves. It was a, I was able to touch it, and it felt like jelly. There were all kinds of colored eyeballs, specifically for the person who needed it on earth. I was not able to ask how people can receive these body parts on earth. Jesus Christ showed these to teach the sick that there is hope. Healing and miracles is possible if only people will come to him to be healed. Jesus Christ told me to let all those who believe in him to humble themselves, ask forgiveness for all their sins, forgive all those who hurt them, and repent of their sins daily. Great is their reward in heaven if they do this. He wants it shared to all people so they will be encouraged and seek to be righteous, develop and maintain a direct intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Pay Him till the end is our ticket to enter heaven. So that was the vision of the servant of Jesus Christ, how she went up to heaven and saw all those uh, things that Jesus Christ wanted her to see and uh, I'm just reporting it to all of you so that you will be encouraged to seek Jesus Christ on your own and develop that intimate directly relationship with Jesus Christ and if anyone who is sick right now or is scared to die don't be afraid unless you are uh, guilty of sin then repent right away before it's too late you know you are still alive so God is giving you an opportunity to repent of your sins don't take for granted this opportunity because many people when they go to the judgment throne and Jesus Christ sees them and many Say, I did this everything for you, Jesus Christ. But then Jesus Christ said, I don't know you. Because you continue to do your sin. You didn't stop it. And so you don't love me. And so you don't deserve to enter heaven. And forever you will be down to hell for eternity. Will you take that risk? That... You didn't get, uh, give yourself a chance to repent. And it's very terrible. Don't do that. 
Repent now. Jesus Christ loves you. And so this is the message for everyone. And I hope you guys understood it and learned something new. And feel free to share this to everyone, especially for those people who are sick, who are dying. So they will not be scared to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and to repent of their sins. Because great is the reward in heaven if they do that. So if you have any questions, please go directly to Jesus Christ and ask him. Lord, please show me what I must know. Please tell me the truth. Tell me all my an, uh, question, answers to my question. And he will do it because he loves you. So this is the end of the message. May Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, give you the love, peace, wisdom, and understanding of Jesus Christ in your heart and mind. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.